Hi and welcome to another video here at Cross Stitch TV. I'm Ruth and I'm the editor of the World of Cross Stitching magazine. I'm really excited today to be sharing my tips and insider secrets and a little tutorial for you on how to stitch with beads in your cross stitching. So this technique is such a lovely way to add some dimension and even a little bit of sparkle depending on the beads you choose to your cross stitching projects. It's one way as well that you can add some detail to things like flower centres or even to characters and animals eyes, especially if you're not so keen on stitching French knots. So I'm going to share a couple of my quick tips with you before we get to this tutorial. First of all, I like to look in my local craft shop for themed packs of beads. They often have great value bargain sets, which are color themed like pastels or perhaps Christmas colors with red, green and gold. This way you can use just the odd one or two beads perhaps to a small design like a card and add that really special something without having to invest in the different color packs separately. So you can get great value like that. Of course, with a chart that uses specifically colour matched beads to match that design, you may prefer to use those beads particularly that are referenced in the key so that you can take all the guesswork out of having to match your beads. I find it's really useful when beading to be working at a table and to have a piece of fabric like a towel or even a thick piece of felt works really well. This way you can spread out some beads and the fibres will make sure that they don't roll around and you can easily pick them up as you're working. Let me show you how to attach your beads then. I'm going to be using a bright colour of bead so it will show up well and I'm working on a 14 count Ada fabric. The principle is the same for any colour of bead and any fabric though so you can easily apply this technique to your projects. So use two strands of stranded cotton in your needle and come up in the fabric as if you're going to make a regular cross stitch. And now th simply thread a bead onto your needle and down the thread length. Every bead has its own little variations and shape, so you may find a few don't fit over that wider part of the needle and the thread, but there'll be plenty that do fit, so it's just trial and error. Now just work the first arm of your cross stitch. As usual, you can see the bead eases down into place. And then we come up to make the second arm of our cross stitch. And the trick here to securing that bead is to stitch that second arm but separate the two strands of thread so they fall either side of the bead, like this. This is going to keep it nice and fixed on the surface of the fabric and not wobbling around. Just pull the thread back through like that and make sure those threads lie Make sure those threads lie either side of the bead, like that. There we are, and you can see the bead is kept nice and secure, just like these ones I've done here. Let me show you another quick one. So here we are, where I'm going to position that bead, come up in the fabric, pick up a bead, guide it down the thread, Work the first arm of the cross stitch as usual and then that second arm separating the thread strands out either side of the bead. You can just guide it down with your with a thumbnail. Oops. and complete the stitch. There we are, perfect. Now I've been using a red thread in my needle to help it show up on the video here, 
but it does look like it's showing up a little bit more than you want it might want it to on your project. One way to let your bead be the centre of attention and not the stitching actually holding it is to use a colour of thread that matches the fabric itself. So in this case I'd use white thread. Let me show you what I've done on this design. Just a little example. Here you can see the threads actually is used, I've used white to attach the same red beads. Let's those beads show up a lot better, makes a big difference compared with the using the red thread. So I'd always recommend using a thread that matches your fabric. Or perhaps if you're adding beads over the top of existing stitches in your project, rather than to an unstitched area, then use the thread in your needle to match those stitches. Anything that blends in with the base, basically. So, I hope you found my tutorial and those tips really useful. Do have a go, won't you? I'd love to hear how you get on with adding beads in your projects. Thanks very much for watching. Come back next time for more videos from Cross Stitch TV. 